Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video. Today we have some spicy little bits of news for you that uh, wouldn't really fit in because this is more of a speculation video. Now I did get this information, someone gave me this information, Light Guardian on Twitch gave me this information. So big shout out to him and thank you to Frosty for taking screenshots of the messages. I'll show those on screen in a sec. Uh, so this is pure speculation. There's, none of this stuff's confirmed, none of it might not ever be in the game so if you see a staff member and you're like hey where's that feature that Corey talked about in that video none of this is official at all not 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 even a little bit not even a tiny little little tiny bit so don't don't go ask a staff member about this or anything like that this is purely a conversation sort of video about the features that were talked about uh between light guardian and the staff member let's get into the video Okay, so I don't have a lot of info. It would be a very short video, don't worry. Uh, but I do have a little little pieces of very, very interesting stuff that may or may not happen in Adventure Coast Worlds in the future. It is really not up to me to decide whether or not it happens. So, let's get into it. Uh, first off, customizability will increase, allowing new limits to game calculations and stat systems. So I don't really know what that means. Does it mean there's going to be new armor pieces added to the game? More different armor pieces? Are the stats changing? Or I don't know. It probably just changes the stats and the way they work. I think we already knew about that. Uh, but uh, maybe it's bigger than we think it would be. So the second thing he says is that the enhancements are going to get nerfed. Some will be nerfed. Some will be buffed. So the current enhancement system is basically all wizard and fighter enhancements. A lot of classes on the live server need luck to basically do good, like they don't do very well with any other enhancements, so that'll probably have to change, and that's probably what this means about nerfing and buffing uh, different enhancements, and hopefully they change some of the classes so they are suitable for other types of enhancements. So along with uh, enhancement changes, also healing is going to change. Um, of course, it's all speculation, none of this is confirmed, but I'm going to say it like it is confirmed for this video. But uh, So there'll be changes to healing, uh, it won't be as powerful, it, uh, combat will depend a lot more on nuking down your targets, um, making them die faster, and you really, the healing, it's going to be a lot harder to stay alive, a lot harder to sustain. Uh, I'm going to guess Arch Paladin is going to be super overpowered when that happens because of uh, the skill set of Arch Paladin. But we'll have to see about that. Uh, I think healing classes are a little overpowered right now. The amount of health they heal, like uh, especially on the Tesk server, like huge like 10k heals, like 10k dots and stuff, or HOTs, I mean. So yeah, that I can see that needing a little bit of a nerf on the healing classes, especially on the testing server. So bot detection and server speed is the last thing. So that's all he said, better bot detection. So I don't know if that's actually gonna catch bots. Hopefully it doesn't accidentally catch real players. Like I know when I'm playing, sometimes I'll just sit there and spam two, three, four. Like I'll just spam my keyboard even though I don't need to. And I, I just sit there and spam it because it's easier to do that than actually paying attention. Like if I'm doing something else, like reading chat or something, uh, it's a lot easier to just spam it than to actually play the game. So hopefully you don't get punished for that. Cause if I can't spam my keyboard anymore, I'll probably just stop playing to be honest so hopefully they find bot section that doesn't kick out real players and uh yeah that's about it uh server speed i don't know what that means but maybe higher frame rates with testing server but we have to wait for an actual client before we can get a good frame rates with a flash player uh yeah so that's about it for this video guys tell me what you think about this uh the, the healing changes probably not going to impact the game too much i i think don't overreact on that healing change. I think it'll be smaller uh, than what you're anticipating. But uh, who knows? Uh, we'll see when the updates actually go live. Oh, and he also said, which uh, was in the screenshots here because I didn't take these screenshots. I probably should have took some screenshots of the chat. Uh, he also said that uh, the certain moderator said that the server rewrite was coming very soon. Yeah, they said that in, in game in a Yulgar. So. I don't know. We can we can meme that up all we want that the server rewrite is coming very soon, but I, I can I feel like it's getting closer and closer to the server rewrite actually being a thing with uh, people like Pisces uh, on Twitter saying like, uh, is there any more changes you want to make to combat? And I think the combat changes were one of the last things they needed to finish off before they can get the rewrite out to the public. So server rewrite might be closer than most people think. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you're not ready for more. Uh, kind of all random news videos like this and I'll see you guys all in the next one there'll be an upload tomorrow and of course a news video on Thursday stream on Friday I'll see you guys for those 
Uh, follow my Twitch page. I will probably be live a little after uploading this video. So I'll see you guys there. Have a good one and peace.